Okay, hi, I am Sarah, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adobe Photoshop CS6. So first thing you want to do is get your optimized computer. Um, I'm here, I'm using a MacBook Air. I, it's very good, it's got a reasonable fairly good um, stuff on it so it, to check that we can look at uh, this about this Mac gonna look we have 8 gigabytes of RAM we got an Intel Core i5 processor so you know when you see those things you know you're ready for Photoshop so first thing you want gonna wanna do is open up Photoshop then if you already have something over open if you have something open you will go to file new it doesn't matter what you call it you can always change it later so file new then you have your new um, your new blank slate in Photoshop so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to import a picture. So first you're going to want to go to iPhoto or wherever you keep your pictures. Find a nice picture. I'm a fan of this, this one right here. So you're going to take this, drag it slowly. Don't go too fast, you might drop it. Slowly on over here and then drop it. Nice. So now it's a bit strange because um, cause it's a bit large you un understand it's it's too zoomed in so we're gonna go over this edge here and then uh, we are going to make it so that we can oh there we go that's show transform tools and you kind of gradually make it smaller. So yeah, I feel like there's a better way to do this, but um, this is the only way I have personally discovered how to do it, so we're going to do that. So now that you have it, 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 there is no way to get to get your pictures so that they are not stretched. This is the permanent size of the canvas you're working on, and you have to start taking your pictures in this way if you want them to look normal so we have that edited press that button now move that okay next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to color on this so go to this paintbrush right here and then right click choose from any of these little things here I'm feeling this little grass sprout and now we're just coloring. I mean, this looks they look like leaks to me, if someone were to ask. But we, no one really cares that much. So we're just gonna put these on here. And now you can't even tell that it's not in the middle of the woods. I mean, it is, but also it looks like it's also uh, like a a fairy type situation. So right click again. You can add some leaves all over. You're gonna want to cover like the main subject of your picture in leaves. I mean, if, if you're working with a portrait here, it's a little difficult because faces are difficult to see. You have to squint a little bit, but once you um, once you do identify the face in the portrait you're working with, then you can cover it with leaves. Uh, we of course can use a normal uh, paintbrush and we are going to do that by scrolling and finding this paintbrush right here this is the only normal one and you're going to just start going across your painting like this this is the only size paintbrush you have to work with I wish that I could be have more assistance when it comes to paintbrushes, but you know, if you start using them, you do have to cover the entire canvas, so please keep that in mind. The next thing I'll be showing you how to do is to change the color of your canvas. So, 
we have right here I'm gonna change this to that's a nice one so we're gonna just start drawing and there's your basic circle there you can make a triangle and you can try to make a square but um, unfortunately squares are really only for oh I messed up um, squares are mainly only for experts because they're oh, they're very difficult to correctly uh, shoot I, I, I don't know if I can do this today see that kind of looks like a square so if you can make a square please um, comment down below tell me how to do that because I um, I've been struggling with this and I'm sure many other people on this site are so um, yeah comment down below this is pretty much the basics of Photoshop uh, anything any basic editing you need to do this is all really you need to know so thank you for watching and have fun shopping your photos. <laughs>